welcome to episode 21 of Let's Hear It. Today's episode is a retro style episode, a flashback to my original Instagram series style, which I filmed during March, April, and May during lockdown. I filmed a video every day of my instrument collection that I have here in New York City, and that led to the development of the Let's Hear It show where other guests come on and show their favorite instruments. But today is just me, and it's because I dug this little parlor guitar out of storage. It did not appear in my first Instagram series, so here we are today. This is a Tonk Brothers parlor guitar called the Sterling, made somewhere in the 1920s or 1930s. I don't really know. There's no real way for me to identify it. Maybe an instrument detective knows how to date it. But... Tonk Brothers was a wholesaler, a distributor of instruments based in Chicago, started in the late 1800s, distributed all kinds of instruments made by other manufacturers. Sometimes they would put their own brand name on it. Um, I think that Regal and Kay, which were two other instrument makers there in Chicago, may have made some of the Tonk Brother instruments. And they also owned Lion and Healy and Washburn starting in the late 1920s and distributed a lot of those great instruments. But this is a little 12 fret parlor guitar that I got from a place called VintagePartlerGuitars.com that is in Chester, Vermont. It's run by a guy named Stephen Chipman. He specializes in finding beat up old parlor guitars and fixing them up and making them playable and they're usually five or ten to choose from them on his website at a time and they're usually I, I think I think friends of mine and I have gotten four or five guitars from him over the years and they've all been really cool uh, I love these little parlor guitars I love the slot head and I love the 12 frets to the body and the little small body they're really easy to play and what I really love about this one too is this rope binding this checkered binding which is called a rope pattern. And you see this a lot on ukuleles, but here it is on a guitar around the sound hole, also on the back of the guitar. Really cool, just a goofy way to make an excuse for buying a guitar. Um, anyway, it's a very sweet sounding guitar. I don't know a whole lot more about it than that, um, other than it's fun to play. I'm glad that Vintage Parlor Guitars fixed it up for a uh, second life here. And uh, here's a little sample of what it sounds like. it there at the end but you get it sounds very sweet so there you go just a short little episode today we'll see you again on wednesday with another guest take care sign up for our youtube channel check out the facebook page check out the rest of the videos or my old instagram videos if you want to see some weird uh Chitara batentes or uh, octave mandolins or weird stuff. See ya.